Today I want to talk about how to use web page screenshot. Um, as you probably know it's a Chrome extension so if you type in web page screenshot in the Chrome web store this will come up and you just add it. As you can see it's already added and how do I know it's added because it's up here. So uh, an extension always adds extra functionality to your browser making it do something that it wouldn't do otherwise making it better basically okay um, so we're gonna go and search for an image so let's pretend we're looking for uh, butterfly so I'm gonna go to image and I'll pretend that uh, what I'm interested in is this picture so I'll pretend all I want is the butterfly so here we go, click web page screenshot. It'll give you a series of options. All page screenshots, so it'll do everything. Um, usually I use visible screenshot a lot with my students, so I'll click visible screenshot. And what it'll do is it'll make a photocopy of this page. And how do I know? Because you see a little camera up here. So now I'm in web page screenshot mode. So once I'm in this mode, I can start, well, I want a clip of just this, for example. I don't want the whole image so I would click this and what it's going to do is give me the option to save it now so if I want to save it as something that I can work on in for example a PowerPoint I would click on this second icon so click Save and then if I'm in my PowerPoint all I need to do is click and drag it in there and now the student has the image of a butterfly so in this window as well you have the option to, this is something I'll often do with my students, um, have them, you know, annotate with text right in this image. So I'll type butterfly. Depending on the assignment that they're working on, um, I'll use another color because it doesn't really stand out. Let's try white. So there you go, butterfly stands out. And maybe I want to highlight something doesn't really make sense in the context but it's just to show you the functionality um, and there's a draw tool line tool rectangular tool um, all kinds of other neat tools if you make a mistake you click back okay and go forward and the annotation tool is something really essential for students so now if I want to save this and bring it into my PowerPoint you're gonna notice that it will have the edits Okay, so that's a web page screenshot. One thing I really love when you're using the Chrome web uh, browser is that when you say something, it drops at the bottom here, so it's really easy to find. So um, there you go, web page screenshot. Highly recommend it. Thanks.